Hello everyone. Just loading into some Mass Effect 2. Excuse me. done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Not worse than usual, buddy. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding Thank together you for the as alert. it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. <clears throat> Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. You've got my back. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. I'm walking into hell. I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking I'll into hell, right too. Mm. Just like old times. <laughs> I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, hell, Shepard. Right? I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Let's get some things in here. Alrighty. <clears throat> come 
Commander, you've received a new message at your... How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. I worry about him. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I could use that. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? How's the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have unread <laughs> messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Very well. That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. We got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Joker. Right, right. No hard feelings. Good game. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, let's head back down to Omega and get Morden. Take it. What do you need? How much do you need to get off Omega? I still need 1,000 credits to pay my way. But I couldn't let you do that. This is my mistake on my pilgrimage. It's my problem. Here you go. A thousand credits. Get out of here. I... Thank you. With this, I can finally continue on my pilgrimage. I'm going to buy my ticket right now. Thank you again. You're welcome. Good kid. in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. 
Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I'm going in for Morden Solus. There's a Salarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Let me in and I'll help. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's <laughs> over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? I need you to come. This mission's important. I need you to come along, even if it's dangerous. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Garzu District. Good luck in there. Blue suns and orchards shooting anything that moves. Trying to claw his way out. Bastard sealants in this room. Except we're infected. <laughs> Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing they brought a different cards. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> you need, uh, I'm looking for a Solarian. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you, <laughs> I hope, <laughs> damn it, damn you. Hey, damn. stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. I'm 
need, I need information. Well, I'm here to help. That's what Sorry. I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? I'll send someone to help you. When I find more hey, Sam. Welcome you. in. He Thank you for the alert. Make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. How is he dangerous? What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> I should go. Goodbye, human. Is it hot in here or is it just... <clears throat> oh, that's not good. <coughs> I do not get sick. Let's find Morden. Hopefully he's found a treatment. That was a mess. And another mess. What the hell? I'll put them down. Bring the head. Let's go. Hello, US One Bone more. Star. Welcome in. Since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are they after you? Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. 
Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. I'm looking for a Solarian. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You should go to the clinic. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I'll help you get there. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morton's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorchas, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Ooh, excuse me. We can use this. What did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. Who are you? What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. I don't like looters. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? I want you to stop. No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? No, but someone will. This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. 
It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell him. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. I'm looking for someone. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solus? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. How am I today, Bones? I'm doing okay. How about you? Today won't be a long stream. Got to go into work pretty early tomorrow again. Funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those max. We're clear. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Professor, we're running low on suboxone. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in batarians. Supplement with butemperol. Now there is butemperol. Got it. Send us this catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Explosive to mass produce. Professor Morden Solis. Turian physiology, resilient with simple immuno booster. Should be fine now. Krogan cure, supplemented with neural blocker to avoid blood rage reaction. Excellent. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now to greetings. Human. Curious. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, yes. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? A secret, earnest, a secret organization. It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin, not Alliance standard. Spectres, not human. Terra firma, too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. You've heard of them. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Turian involvement surprising. Racial tension with humans. Unlikely to help a human-centric organization. This mission reaches far beyond mere human interests, Professor. We all have to work together to take down the Collectors. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll take care of it. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That wasn't a good noise. 
Fortune have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take Plague Cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Fortune. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Fortune territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. I'll keep an eye out. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I met a sick Batarian. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes. Good. Restore power. Release and cure. We'll be here when you return. Come on. Shot.
I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Nobody needs to die. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. Thank you for the alert there, Bones. Are we free to go? You can go. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? He needs you. The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... well... Everything. Trouble! Not that one! <laughs> yeah, right on your ass! Okay, hang on a second. Did you just say plant Lando?
forgot about that. I'll put them down. Taking fire. I think we're close. We need to inject the cure, then get the fans working again. You don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. Why are you doing this? What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah. They've seen us. This would slow him down. Shepard, I've scanned the room. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. There's the cure. Now let's get those fans turned on. Firing a high impact shot! Yes! I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. Hello, Matt. This is your captain speaking. Wrong. I'm the captain now. God nice damn it. Outfit. Control panel, right. I got cold, so I put my camis on. Ooh, he got closed up in the door. Damn. Hello, Seth. You're back, gotta pee, okay.
And that was a grind shot, ladies and gentlemen. How is my day long? It's going to be even longer tomorrow. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I'm not like that. You look more handsome with that I outfit. I promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. Will you join me? We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you in the Normandy. Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. Cerberus hasn't changed. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes, but this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There is virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? Yes. The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Prototype. Okay, I need more palladium. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Yeah. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, let's plot our course and then we'll be doing some training. We do not have enough fuel to travel any significant distance. Alrighty, so it's time to do some training. I couldn't All right, let's score or, or even make a kill. I couldn't help my team. I have Cynthia up there, so I can still listen to her. Harvard, so it's like, okay, well, I guess I'm kind of like on the bench for now. And then when you're on the bench for that so long, you just end up kind of falling away. So, and it, it's so interesting to think that the, the apology doesn't make any difference because if that was what you were after, then the apology would fix the problem. It's like, hey, mm -hmm. interesting. How interesting. I didn't know about this particular statistic about this So thing. today, because starting no out after our warm-up, 20 heel touch, 30 seconds of toy soldier, 16 abdominal crunches, 16 heel touch, 30 seconds of flutter kicks, 20 Russian twists, 30 seconds of toy soldiers, 16 abdominal crunches, 16 heel touch, 30 yeah, seconds uh, flutter kicks, yeah, 20 Russian grow, twist, uh, and 30 right. seconds of that's Cobra easy. stretch. Just lose and, and get do, this hard really every, Yeah, that's my point. People try that it say, makes it an uh, individual instance too hard to go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That may seem small here, but we know that they are representative of this big iceberg that lies below the surface. Mm -hmm. This is the, the smoking gun circles. that tells you that this person is the bigoted, racist, Two. transphobic, homophobic, One. whatever Start. thing that we always knew that they were. And this is this is finally the crack. The fissure has shown through this facade that they've created. So, all right, well, what you had with Joe and what, you know, increasingly I would like to think people will see with other online content creators or writers or, or, or anybody. Three. All right, well, Two. that might be One. true. But I also have 5,000 hours of him talking to people seconds. on podcasts and it didn't come up then. So he's either the best liar and, and deflector of his bigoted racist views in history, or that's unrepresentative overall. And it, I don't know, it seems to me like, I would like to think people give what used to be called the benefit of the doubt, Three, but two, I don't know, that, that seems one, to be increasingly rare now. Start. Yeah, I mean, I think that also to that point, the benefit of the doubt is often given to anybody's like ideological yeah, friends, but down. then it's and precisely the opposite if they just the don't like position. someone instinctively. Um, and I, I think, what about chance? You know, it's been Thank instructive you. to see like Rogan survive cancellation attempts and, and Barry Weiss to make a career out of it, basically with the free press and the awesome stuff that she's doing there. Um, or Chappelle Three, and, and seeing two, Netflix finally one. actually toughen up and, and um, say no to their employees statement. that were trying to wreak havoc over a single joke. Three, I mean, I do two, think that there have been examples one. of Start. 
of cancellation going so far that there is a band of people who are willing to come around and actually support you and champion you as a result. And I think that, that Joe Rogan's a perfect example of that. Um, but I, you know, I worry that those are only people who are in a powerful enough position when it first happens to them that people know. Um, and there's so many just like unheard stories or even I, I think that one of the problems is on a college Three, campus, it's much two, easier to quantify how one, often this is happening because start. people often have legal recourse. But in in the private spheres, it's impossible for us to tally how many people have been canceled, not only Please because some people will just shut down and never say anything, references. but also because there are so many examples of people who will talk to you off the record about it, but they've signed an NDA Pass because the that was their, their severance agreement with whatever company they were squeezed out of. Um, and, you know, um, Jennifer Say, who left Levi's, she refused uh, to sign an NDA and, Three, and two, turned away a million dollars of payout rest, to um, because she had criticized seconds, COVID policies and school lockdowns, which apparently means that you can no longer be an executive at Levi's. Um, but you know, she she refused to sign an NDA, and we only know that that even happened because I she, am she loading had the into the actually say, no, really, I want to retain my really, autonomy, but. Um, really yeah, quarry, I mean, I there's, there's really so quarry, yeah, yeah. Yeah. really quarry. Thankfully, people are starting to land Start. on their feet and support one another. But um, you know, I fear that the 2024 election will be another wave of Your all of the same stuff, and I, I'm not feeling great about the future of cancel culture in the near future. So. Oh yeah. Um, what What are your projections? Give me Give me the weather report moving three, forward for the. Two. Storm front of cancellation. Take a rest. Yeah, I think. So, what is the I prediction? I am hugely concerned about 2024, as is my co-author. Um, I, I especially considering that we Guys, have such if, if it's time for the world to burn, the it will burn. I'm, Don't worry. I am very concerned that 2020 and 2016 were just like little trial runs for Three, how two, one, how polarized start. and how ad hominem we're about to get. Um, at least in the U.S., and I think that you know the the ripple effects of American this politics are really felt across zero, at least the English-speaking world and often just the cultural West in general. So, I'm not feeling fabulous Pass about the, the near future. I'm extremely nervous as we seem to Don't be, be pessimist. Um, kind of just powering ahead towards an election between two be sure you have your historically own, unpopular uh, incumbents. So, um, <laughs> no, no, I'm not fine. feeling great. But what what are your predictions on on that front? Do you think that the social unrest is going to continue? It's a difficult one. I would guess yes because the means of production for creating trends online and going completely super viral have become more sophisticated. Like, this is one of the things that's interesting. People look at the algorithms on social media as if they are the things that give us the content, but they also Three, train the content two, creators. So one, if you think that the rest, memes that came out in 2016 were sophisticated seconds, and built to limbically hijack you, crunches. and if you thought that the things that happened in 2020 were, Three, oh my God, like look two, at all of this stuff, wait one, until 2024. Start. Each time that it comes back around, there is a new iteration of people, and sometimes AI now, creating stuff Exhale that is even more compelling, with even them. more outrage inducing. So. I don't know. I'm in Texas, so I feel a little bit like I'm Pass insulated from anything sort of too crazy. Even being in Austin, I am in Norway. I'm, in I'm fully I've never seen insulated. Any of the blue dots here. It just seems to be like <laughs> just a red ocean. But, I'm um, insulated from minus yeah, 20 degree it's temperatures. Gonna be, it's going to be very interesting. One, and take a rest. I don't know. You, it's so right seconds. to say that most of the people that survived their cancellations were people who already had tons of momentum. You know, Chappelle, Rogan, J.K. Rowling, etc. Um, mm -hmm. And there's definitely a part of some sides of the cancel mob picking fights with people that they know can't fully defend Three, themselves. Two, you know, like one, Carol Hooven, again, is a good start. example of that. Like, she's so kind, it was obviously going to emotionally impact her. If you're someone that mm -hmm. even knows, has even seen five your minutes of her on a podcast, you know that this isn't someone that's going to come out of the gates swinging like Dave Portnoy. Right? It's someone yeah. who's going to be very uh, impacted by this and also doesn't have a million person Twitter where they can wrangle mm -hmm. a huge audience of people that come around. And also, like, what's the lesson to take away from that? Three, Everybody two, should have a huge one, mailing list of email address. Everyone next. should build up a massive sub stack as like a yeah. great <laughs> glassing case of cancellation thing. That's Please not realistic. Yeah. 
No, absolutely. I mean, and I think that, um, I think that we're only seeing just the beginning of, of how profound that's Technically going to get. I, I worry about 24. I worry about every single Three, moment of cultural two, unrest that we one, have going forward start, unless we one, actually return to two, values that three, make a four, diverse five, a diverse six, democracy possible. Seven, I think that eight, um, eight, nine, that's pretty ten, much impossible eleven, and we will 12, end up going towards 13, a Marxist 14, sort of divide and conquer situation 16, which makes enemies 17, of everyone unless 18, we actually 19, can start giggity 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 stick around in the realm of you, ideas in the realm of you of are in the dungeon with me um, and so I think until seconds, until we really have a cultural seconds. reckoning and it gets really ugly, which I think mm-hmm. it's coming in the near future, um, I don't think that that things will get much better. But I'm curious, you. So Austin is not as blue as as they say it is. I don't know if it's me just spending time with lots of bigoted, reprehensible people, Three, uh, two, like neurodivergent one, degenerates. Start. But it, they <laughs> seem to be. They all seem to be like you know relatively free speech relatively open to new ideas um, yeah I, I, I haven't seen I mean there's like some stuff stop having kids.org does like this goth parade every year down Broadway there was some stuff to do with like pro lifey things but that's not that's not because it's blue that's just a, a, a variety of opinions being shown by Did a you hear protest. about um, two, what else have I seen the new there was a pro natalism policy virus a few weeks ago. You know, there's a, a lot Which of one? There's a million of them. Heavily controlled. Um, thinking about that, though, they're all the fake. Complete unlikeliness of mm. people building up some huge online platform so that they can then deploy it to Who protect themselves what in case being cancelled. What are the potential solutions to this? Beyond one, make it worse start. so everyone one, hates it more and then it gets better. Two, Are there any yeah. more fluffy <laughs> solutions than that? Any less four, ones? Of course. Um, yeah, so we, Six, the final section of our book seven, is solutions oriented, and I think eight, um, a lot of it is just nine, throwing everything at the wall and hoping that something ten, works. But we think that parenting is 11, a large portion of it, um, especially 12, with young people, and that. A lot of the, um, oh, I'm the the sense that words can be violence and wound you are the result of helicopter parenting and and a. Um, you also say they can be fake, like you said. Yeah. Anti fragility that prior generations were raised with. Gen Z was very coddled and protected and made to be anxious and feel as though they're feeble and um, endangered by the world around them. And my co-author, um, his previous book is The Coddling of the American Mind, which um, concentrated quite a lot on parenting and its impact on politics and Gen Z. Um, and so we think that there's a lot about leading by example as a parent Three, and raising kids two, who will not be cancelers and understand start. their own vulnerability One, as well as two, the vulnerability of three, their friends. Four, um, and I, five, I do find six, a tremendous seven, amount of hope in the fact eight, that young people nine, are so ten, put off eight, by cancel culture 12, that if they were just 13, given 14, the positive restorative 15, framework to 16, fight back against it and um, kind of a social pact that would be mutually protective that there's, there's some hope there going forward. Um, we also think that divesting away from the, u- the elite university system just being the only way that people end up in, in positions of power in society is a, a healthy thing. Um, and that people who are hiring um, should consider <coughs> kids coming from large state schools and kids from different backgrounds or people who didn't finish college <coughs> or people who went down a different path and that we shouldn't just have this funnel of kids coming from Three, consistently two, the, the most elite one, schools or the schools start. with the worst attitudes towards free speech, which I think it's no surprise that we're seeing uh, absolute chaos on, erupting Keep on campuses like Harvard right now, because if you abdicate free speech and you suppress students and and send bad ideas underground for decades on end, all of a sudden in a moment of cultural unrest they're going to explode and that's precisely what we're seeing right now. Um, And so we believe that, you know, opening our minds to alternative education systems and not allowing these schools that seem to breed cancel culture and cancelers to, you know, take the reins of society consistently with every graduating class, that's a positive um, and also, even people who are running corporations uh, can, I think, take one note out of Netflix's book after the J- Dave Chappelle controversy, where they said, you know, if you can't tolerate the fact that we are going Three, to publish viewpoints that you disagree one, with as, as a platform for ideas and expression, three, then you four, can leave. 
Um, I think that Six, that was a seven, remarkably eight, unique nine, and brave stance to take, and twelve, actually Coinbase 30, did that um, 40, 50, a while ago. Their 60, CEO, Brian Armstrong, 70, was like, we're just 80, not going to take, 90, make any institutional 20, statements, and if that's a problem for you, you can go. And like 10% of their employee base did actually go, but like that's not the 10% of people that you want to work for you. So I think um, on the the level of corporations, we can, um, I think there are a lot of, we hear frequently, Greg and I both, from corporate leaders who are terrified of their like 23 year old hires. And that's just such a bizarre power imbalance. And it's very fixable if you just create a free speech culture from the get go. But I also think weirdly, um, after October 7th, there's a lot I'm of again. people yeah, rediscovering the importance of mm. institutional neutrality and of free speech and free expression. And, you know, it's I think it's a really revealing moment for schools to suddenly say, oh, you know, we had a statement about Kyle Rittenhouse's acquittal and BLM and all these completely irrelevant things to the interworkings of a university, but we can't make a statement on this. Of course, I think it's it's shocking that this is the moment that they've been finally discovered that institutions are full of people with viewpoints and do not have viewpoints themselves. But maybe there's a silver lining that this moment of just absolute chaos in, in institutions where free speech was not valued for so long where they're suddenly hiding behind the valence of free speech, like maybe this is where we actually Three, buy in and two, we realize that we're all one, vulnerable in a world start. where a liberalism is allowed to reign supreme. Two, what would you say is three, a piece of advice to four, someone who is threatened with cancellation or is going through six, it? Have you got a, a to do and not to About eight, this cancellation, nine, it, uh, this reminds me about uh, Osmond Gould and uh, when he realizing that, 14, oh, and by the way, yesterday I was cancelled and he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> it is always so funny. Oh, by the way, people told me that I was cancelled on Twitter or something like that. Just keep pushing through it. It's like, but what are you pushing through? Like, how is the cancellation has any effect on you? Like, there are a small percentage of really loud retards on different platforms three, that they are... Two, okay, not retards, one, let's say... Start. One, two, three, people with uh, opposite six, opinion seven, than you eight, nine, and they are just eight, shouting eight, actually eight, slurs eight, and eight, negative words eight, towards eight, you eight, and eight, demanding eight, your eight, cancellation, eight, like eight, delete all your account and... and and analyze yourself or something like that makes no sense that's uh, that's all you can do with their constant uh, bombardment two more to go and they, you were right no you were right my opinion about, about this bring me facts and data i am willing to change my mind on different topics if i see that if i change my mind it will create less Three, suffering in two, the world one, and start more beneficial to uh, to me or my family friends and community health wise or i can increase their happiness with that facts facts are racist cynthia <laughs> <laughs> laughing out loud dude i i am banned from so many subreddits because I just did it, guys. I, I, I am a biological man. Like this. I'm, I'm not supposed to play in women's sports. <gasps> you were uh, uh, what, what I was. You were a transphobe. Dude, I, I'm a transsexual. I don't hate myself. So, damn. People are just One, crazy. Two, and really, three, there are four, echo chambers. Five, like, six, I think seven, there will be less eight, echo chambers nine, if... Nine, oh, wait, 12, I'm dying in the game. 13, 14, okay, 15, not dying anymore. 16, I think there will be less echo chambers if these people would not have the tool to cancel somebody in this way, like deleting or banning or silencing anyone. Because then they will be um, uh, forced to engage with a different opinion. And why is that good? 
it, you you're not gonna change one person mind like you might be in in, in a debate with someone 100 percent you can't change the other person mind i would like to say that you can change my mind if you really present to me some really good evidence i am willing to change my mind on anything but these type of people are not even willing to listen to facts and, and like basic biological facts and and statistical data anything data anything and you are not changing that person mind but if you let Two, publish it one. others could read okay. others uh, could see the outcome they might think for themselves all right i apologize for the because short when you stream. are in the highlight i have to go into work the pretty early tomorrow so i want to get a decent you just sleep. want to win most people want to win in a debate. And uh, tomorrow we'll be checking out the new what DLC. Is it find the out anniversary what of Star Trek That's Online. That's my, my opinion about it. So right now we're going to be going rating. Ask them one question. No, never mind. I could care less about that shit. Uh, do what you want and so I will do what I want. Just don't get Let's go raid our friend Cynthia. <laughs> Yeah, it's like everybody is uh, free to do whatever they want, as long as they are not impeding on someone else's freedom. That's that's the easiest way I can say. Like, enjoy life. That's it. Don't expect me to to live according to your rules. Let it be religion.